Last time on Sally Face, I wandered around into a bunch of empty rooms for no good reason. I tried to hack into my dad's computer, but I was too dumb to figure out the puzzle. And also, Mrs. Robinson turned out to be a ghost and left us a final note. But it wasn't really the final note, because we still are looking for more notes. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Alright, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sally Face, here on Bite Size Beefs, and hopefully... The intro video should get you caught up on that last eight minutes that I had of that one episode. It really wasn't much. It was probably just me wandering around, doing silly voices, looking for the last few bits of the notes. We ended off there finding out that Mrs. Rosenberg was actually a ghost the whole time, and she left us a note. Goodbye, Rose. I get the feeling that you were, you were ready for this. Whatever it is, I hope that wherever you are, you're happy now. So she definitely passed on. And, uh, I don't think we've got any more spookums. No more spookish left in this house. Or at least her apartment, I should say. And so we were off trying to find that final note. Because I think there's one more note that we need to find. I just have a hunch. There's a weird, weird old hunch in my back about trying to find this last note. And, uh, I don't think it's in the mail either. Because we got Dad's mail. But we did, unfortunately, get spoiled on a puzzle because the last few minutes of the episode were lost. And it wasn't even the episode either, which is usual because uh, when I usually tell you guys that I have issues, it's usually with the capture. But this time it was with only a very small portion of the capture and then my audio also stopped recording. So I lost the actual audio recording as well of my voice. So... Somebody had not no, or uh, yeah, somebody had not known that I had went back to try and figure out the puzzle again, and had said, you know, I'll figure it out later in the next episode because we were already running long. So you didn't get that. So unfortunately, the the end of the puzzle was spoiled for me, which I may or may not have figured it out. But they said that the answer was, I believe, to spell out the name Diane with the letters corresponding with the numbers of the alphabet. So it's like A, B, C, D, right, is four. And then I would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, nine. And then A, and then N, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, would be 14, I believe. And then E would be five. I believe so. Django. Got it. And I know you guys might be thinking, wow, he has to count out the letters. It's like, I don't remember the corresponding numbers to letters. I used to when I was younger. I used to actually figure out, like, which numbers would be at what intervals so I could just count from there. But I, I don't remember that. It won't turn back on. I hope it's not fried. Oh, no. Sally, you didn't just ruin everything, did you? <gasps> There's the letter. The last one we needed, probably. Where did this come from? It is from our mama. It's another empty letter with my name on it. Are you kidding me? There's still one more left? Jesus, where are all these notes coming from? Is our cat still in the bathroom? Gizmo! Gizmo! <laughs> yep, Gizmo's still in the bathroom. Maybe I should go, uh, spectral detectral my dad's room. Because I think I did it in my room, too. And I didn't do it in my dad's room, I don't think. My dad did it. My dad told me. So there's no spookums around here, no? Okay. There's something under the bed. Yeah, we already checked the note. I just wanted to see if maybe there's something uh, else. So, yeah, there's a handwritten note on the back. Wonderful. Just put it back. Sal, thank you very much. Wonderful. So, we've got the puzzle box. A strange metal object found in Mrs. Packerton's desk. I'm sure it's similar to the box we found before. A cup of tea. I keep forgetting that B doesn't close the menu. It's always X. X always closes the menu. But uh, I, I haven't found, like, a quarter or anything. Well, there's cash on the desk there. Maybe I can take it? No. There's cash on the desk, man. I need money for tea. Give me the tea. Come on, Dad. I need some tea. Just give me a dollar. I want to buy my friend's tea and then Robert's place. Uh, we had a little bit of fun. or We went back to investigate Robert's place. You can kind of flip the poster up. And uh, it'll flip back down. But essentially, there was nothing left in here either. So, Robert's place was a dead end as well, and pretty much everything here, up on the fourth floor, I believe we've exhausted the possibilities of. 
because there's nothing over here in the corner because that camera's gone. No one lives there. And then we've already been inside Mrs. Sanderson's place, which has been broken into by the looks of it. And there's nothing else here. I'm mashing the A button and there's nothing else here. So the fourth floor is completed. We can easily go check out the fifth floor again as I itch my eye. I apologize. My eye is very itchy today for some reason. Some reason. Also, for those who are wondering, uh, please don't be worried. Mario and Rabbids Donkey Kong Adventure DLC will be coming back. It's just I had the opportunity to record some Monster Mash with my cousin. And uh, so I put it up on Monday because we've got three episodes of that. So all oh, spoilers, three episodes of Monster Mash. Even with the spirit board, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think it's just shy around strangers. She's shy around strangers. So, yes, yeah, so we'll have a few of that. Uh, a few episodes of the Cartoon Network Battle Crashers, which aired yesterday. Yay! It's 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 an okay game. It's not amazing. It's uh it's it's fun with somebody else though, just to rag on it and have another person there. So there's nothing in here either. No toilet ghosts. Nope. So I think we can rule out the fifth floor as well. Almost, because we can't go in there because it's locked. If only we had the key. We can go in here, which is the bird cage room, I believe. Let's go on this side of the door just to rule out possibilities that there's no like, haha, there was a spooky in the corner, haha. -ha. So nothing here either, and there's no door to the bathroom or bedroom or anything in here. It's just sort of the bird cage, and that's it. I wonder if I was able to inspect the skull if I was able to bring it with me. So I wonder if I just pooched myself by accidentally picking up the the item first. So we've also got all these newspapers in here. All these weird newspaper clippings. We found the note attached to that last nail in the door. Or in the wall. It's not a door. It's a wall. Jeez. Jeez. What do you, what do you even know? Uh, it's about a boy who shouldn't be alive who survived an accident that killed both of his parents. Yeah. So we already read those. They didn't change. Nothing happened up here. So if that's true, fifth and fourth floors are confirmed cleared. There is no more we need to do up here. And then there's Chug. Hey, Chug. What's wrong? Uh, is there anything I can do? Got any chocolate? Chocolate always makes me feel better. No, sorry. I don't have anybody. Can't Spectre detect in his place either. We could go into 324, which... It's empty, I believe. I think we've already been here, but I don't know if there's going to be a Spectre. I think there was a Spectre in here. We got a note in here. But it doesn't feel like anything else is in here. At all. Whoo boy. Where is this last note? Because I feel like we're really close to figuring out this secret of the notes. And then that might get us something special. And then we can go into David's place. But I don't think there was anything special in here. Maybe there's like something I can touch before I get to him. No. And I can't walk past him. And there's... I Let's check to see if there's any reason to talk to him again. Nope. Nothing to talk to him again. So, I believe this is college students. Alright, they're on break. So, we can't even get into their place. Come on, Sal, just do a little B&E. They won't mind, you're cool. So, second floor. It's the last one we've got, and then we'll double-check the basement, because I believe Mrs. Packton's here. Todd's place. Oh, right, yeah. Let's give Todd's place a once-over. And if you're wondering why I'm uh, just doing all this once back over, it's just because it's been a week or so since I've played... And I just want to double check that I've done everything. I know it can be a little tedious at times, right? For uh, you guys watching at home. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. Even if I have to make this episode a little little longer. Do you guys say anything special? Hey, Sally, are you boys off on another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced, man. You're totally right about that. Yeah, just gotta seize the moment, you know? Though sometimes it's nice to relax after a long day, you know? Rain oh yeah, we already read all this, because they're just watching television, but they don't own a television. So then we're like, I think we better get going. Because reasons, Todd's parents' room, which... They're so high, they probably wouldn't even notice we walked into it. And then these guys over here... Parts... Todd, are you ready? Uh, ready? Not yet. I'll be right back. Okay, so... Hi, Bob. Alright, that's Bob. Can't talk to Larry in here. He's probably still busy downstairs pooping. 
Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> I just want to make sure he heard me. Fish don't have that good of memory, you guys. You gotta make sure that if you tell them something, you say it like nine times. No one's home. Oh, that must be Mrs. Robertson's place. Because <sighs> I believe that's where the weird goat noises were coming from before the sawing and the goating and the whatnot. No one ever did move into this room. Well, then go in! There's gotta be, like, one last thing that I'm missing. Please, Sal, find it. Find it for me. This is Charlie's old place, which... No ghosties in here. But I'll check the oven. Check the trash can. Check the refrigerator. Check that bathroom. Man, that smell is lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Come on, man. Somebody's gotta flush the upper decker. Come on. Take the bullet, Sal. Take the bullet. Flush the upper decker for all mankind. Alright, here we go. First floor... Mrs. Rosenberg's, we've already done. Miss Gibson's place, we better not anger her anymore. And there's nothing down here. And then we're going to the basement, because I believe Mr. Addison we can't do anything with because we can't get the tea. How can I help you? Do you like a new sign? Any new tenants? Because we already asked him about the new sign, because he can't afford the tea. Goodbye. Let's see here now. What if I actually pulled out my Addison cup? I can't use the cup here, it looks like. I'm supposed to keep it for refills. Okay, but how do I... I can't use it. So I, I literally cannot use it. And then nobody lives here, and we've already scoped out this whole place. For clickables, there's absolutely nothing. And we can't leave the front door. And I don't believe we can go out the back either. Like Todd's basement area back, so we can go to the... the uh, that, um... Uh, the house in the tree. The tree house. We can't go there either right now. But down to the basement. You never know. No phantom chocolate in there for Chug? Nope. Still empty. Chug ate it all, man. Chug's a good boy. Chug likes his chocolate. Chocolate Chug. I call him Chocolate Chug. There's a door back there. I, I, I just see it now. There's a door behind all this shelving that's probably going to be useful in the upcoming mystery. So the only place we've got left is this last basement door, 1B. Wait, if this is 1B, that must be 1A. Ooh. Well, actually, 1B is the basement. Flowers. Looks like Lisa got a bunch of flowers. They're not spooky either. Can't go in her room. Larry's room. Let's just double check for spooks. Heh. No spookies, no spookies, no spookies. Can we grab my coat or anything? Nope. I like how they... Sal's earmuffs and everything are right here next to the exit. Not a good time for that. It's the best time for that. Come on! We're probably gonna go point of no return soon or something. And I don't want to miss out. Ooh, 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 ghost pizza? No, oh, no, no, no ghost pizza. And then Larry's still in the bathroom, probably. And then Lisa's still good. Oh, oh, no, oh, hold on. Oh, we've got dialogue with Lisa. Oh, I'm glad we came back, because I like Lisa. She's one of my favorites. What's wrong with the plumbing? There's some kind of goop clogging up our pipes. It's weird. The same thing happened a few years back, too. No idea where this stuff comes from, but once I get all the pipes cleaned out, we should be good to go. How's Mr. Addison? Oh, poor Mr. Addison. He's kind. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's a bit of a frail man. With everything going on, we should do our best to keep him optimistic. He may put on an upbeat attitude, but he's so stressed lately that he's crying himself to sleep at night. Aww, Mr. Add- Aww. Plans for the weekend? My dad and I might be going out to see a movie or something. Maybe you and Larry could come along? I bet it'd be good for you to get out of the house for, night, for a night. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for the invitation. I would love to join. How is Henry doing, by the way? He's a sweetheart, your father. I hope he's not overworking himself. Cool, that'll be fun, and I know my dad will be happy to have you along too. He does work a lot. I, I think it helps him cope with this depression. Though he seems like he's been making some positive changes lately, which I'm glad for. Aw, I know I've said this a million times, but I'm so sorry you two have gone through so much hurt. Let's get you and your father out for some fun times this weekend. Get that positive energy flowing again. Sounds good. Lisa, this is why you're my favorite! Oh, you're my favorite, Lisa. See you around, Sal. Hi, Sal. Oh, I I didn't realize I was still within Lisa range. Yeah, because I guess... Wow, Lisa's got a really far range. She's got all the way from her crutch. All the way over. Ooh. Ooh, he's not in his bathroom anymore. But there's still no ghosties. Come on. Come on. No poop ghost? Mm, anger. Anger, frustration. Okay, so we have literally exhausted every option we have in this place. There's nothing else we can do. 
I've clicked everywhere. I've done everything. I've seen all the goop. I've done everything we can do. So it's time to go to Todd's place and talk to him about the next step in the plan. Oh, that's David's. No! David, no! David, no! I don't want to see you. I think Todd's on level 2, isn't he? Not level 3. I always go to level 3 for Todd, but he's level 2. There we go. Todd, 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 Todd. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready? Ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until we, you two get back. Be careful. Damn. He's like straight up our dude on the inside. He's got all the cameras. Wait, what's this? Got it. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Oh, they're spooky. That was spooky. Are we going into a portal? Oh my god, look at that painting! It's got a barn. Everybody knows barns are pure evil. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord, we better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if po or Packerton really does just work on a farm? I don't know. That painting gives me a weird feeling. Like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around, Larry. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. Must be broken. How about spooky, 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 spooky. Anybody have the spook? Clock? Hmm, the clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. Ah, 3.141. One. Darn, it's locked. Is there maybe a lock on this one? It's locked and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. Uh, mechanism on the doorknob. Show me potato salad. <laughs> nope, can't use it. So let's see here now. We're going to have to... Diapers. There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton is ancient. Well, I mean, sometimes when you get old, you get like an incontinent and you have to have some help. Nothing to be ashamed of. Time is terrible to everyone. Is that a dookie? Oh, gross. There's a big old log in here. <laughs> yes, guys. We finally found the poop ghost. When's the last time she cleaned this bathroom? I don't know, dude. But she hasn't flushed in about, I don't know, 24 hours? <laughs> spooky, spooky, spookies. Oh, oh. It's filled with rolls of bologna, along with some frozen vegetables and other various foods. Nothing at a place, really. Let's check the fridge. Anything strange in the fridge, Larry? No, it looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Not yet. Alright, so we must have to look over something else. Yep, she's ancient. Got it. Is there maybe something we can... Got it. Oh, we just have to probably walk around for long enough. Walking around at the speed of... Ugh. Got places to... Uh, gotta follow that... Uh. Alright, let's open it up. Oh! I told you, goat, goat, goat. I told you, goat, goat. Told you, goat. Told you, goat. I knew it. And look at all the weird pentagrams on the freezer. It is goats. I fucking called that shit, man. Oh, so gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Can we open that again? Whoo, boy. That is, uh, there's the spinal column and everything. Damn, that's a good frame. I like that frame. I appreciate that frame. So it's in here now. Bedroom. This is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick this, but I'll keep trying. All right, so I'll check this one then. And there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. Okay, so... Clock hands are stuck at 314. If I move them, they just move right back. Do I use this? No. Key card? No. Do I use the cup? No. All right, so let's see if we can't spectral detect something now. You never know when a ghost is going to decide to pop up. Or we can maybe try the radio. Must be broken. It won't turn on. Okay. No coins in the couch. Big old bag of diapers. Yep. Nothing here. Oh, I knew it. 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 Gonna get that spook. Um, I hope it's the goat. Oh my god, it is the goat. Yeah. Um, hi, little buddy. Bah. 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 
I, uh... What in the hell was that? A ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point. But I definitely did not see that coming. <laughs> huh. So we can resummon it. Anything in the fridge still? Okay, good. He's still in the fridge. I wanted to make sure that maybe... Oh, wait, hold on. Can we use the gear boy here? No. What are the cup... Can we get a cup of its blood? Alright, so we can't do anything here. Alright. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna resummon this thing. And I'm gonna see if I can't take its, uh... Hey there, Mr. Goat. Okay, so one... Two... One... Two... Okay, so it just goes one, two, one, two. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, the radio's on now. 89.3, 93.7, 96 96.1. Let's try 93.7. Pardon me for just a moment. I might quit commentary to listen in on what's happening here. So let's just take a peek and with our ears. Let's take a peek with our ears. Okay, so it kind of sounds like they're all distorted radio stations. But. Okay. But I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I'm trying to listen to see if I can't hear anything. This one sounds the most demonic. 96.1. This one also sounds like it's playing backwards. Huh. So there's nothing we can do about here. Maybe... Okay, so maybe we can go in the bedroom one now. No, it's locked in this weird doorknob. 314. If I try to move him, he just set back. What about Larry? So he doesn't know if he can get it. So there's obviously a puzzle here. With the radio and probably the goat. So we can summon the goat again. Just, let's just check to see if something happens. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. So he ba, 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 And then we've still got this weird, creepy... Maybe I can use this with it? No. Key card? No. Cup? No. Alright. Search 201, huh? And there's still nothing here for it, so let's go back. Hmm. Okay, so I fiddled around with the settings on the radio for just a little bit. And I didn't see anything happen. So let's see here now. The clock's hands are stuck at 314. If I try and move them, they just go right back. So 314. So 314. Add all those numbers up and you get 8. Hmm, 314. Hold on, 314 in military time, that'd be 1214, wouldn't it? Okay, that doesn't help here. 1214, not helping at all. I guess we could just keep uh, shifting the tone. Oh, maybe something happens in the bathroom. You know, besides the big old log. Okay, so maybe I should try and shift the uh, station and then pull up the goat on every station. Bob, 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 bob. Okay. So I'm going to try this a few times. I, mean, I might cut out a bunch of this, but I'm going to try this a few times and see what happens. Okay, so I have ruled out that the goat does not talk English if you mess with the radio. But now I think we have to maybe maneuver something to do with the radio and maybe the clock. Because it's not pulling up anything on the actual door, so it's, there's no puzzle involving the actual door. So maybe I'm just going to go through and see if I can't 
unlock the door if the radio is set to a certain frequency. So it wasn't 105, 104, so let's try 102. Nope. Let's try 96.1. Not at all. Let's try 93.7. Maybe it's right. Nope. Maybe it's the first one. And if not, oh well. Nope, it's locked. So, there's some sort of weird mechanism that we have to figure out here. It's a bizarre, bizarre lock, dude. I'll keep trying. Okay, you do that, Otto. So, hmm, the clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try and move them, they just go right back. So, it's not giving me any other option to interact with anything, and nothing I can use here will help. Is there anything in here I can set to 314? Big bag of diapers, yeah. In the bathroom, perhaps, maybe? Nothing in the bathroom pops up as a spooky, so... Nothing to specter detect in here. And if I check the fridge, I just get the same goat thing. If I check over here, the freezer's still filled with bologna. Hmm. So something in here needs to be set properly. So there's a weird... We get a weird chill from that painting. Maybe that painting has a clue. With the barn. So the barn has... Four pane windows at the top, three in the middle, and then one door at the bottom. So four, three, one. And then there's four goats in the middle. Four, three, one, four. Hmm, I might be getting somewhere there. Four, three, one, four. But I'm not sure how that links in with the radio and what we're supposed to do with the radio. Because we can't use really any of our items on it. Right? Because they don't have, like, the use function that comes up, so... Perhaps maybe I'll just start messing with this and the clock. That's all I can think of. Mess with this and the clock. If you move them, they just go right back. Well, let's see if we can't, uh... Mess with a bunch of stuff. I mean, if it, this is how you do it and it's, tr and it, it's just trial and error, well, I guess so. I guess I kind of figured it out, but I don't see a correlation to this puzzle right at the moment. Not that I... because I can't really interact with anything, so... I don't know if this is what would need to happen. Oh, there we go. Now I can change the time. So change the time to... Okay, here we go. I can change the time to whatever time I want, huh? Alright, so... Hmm, I can change the time to whatever I want. 9.14 won't do anything. Maybe I can... Let's try 10.47. Let's try 10.47. 1, 10... 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7. Dang it! I thought that was it. Okay, so... Maybe it is... Well, no, because it's always it always resets to 314, right? So, let's try... Okay, it doesn't go military. It doesn't go military, so... We could go... Hmm. Let's just set it back to 314. Nothing happens. Okay, so we've got to find context clues. We've got... 431. Let's try 431. 431. Nothing. Well, there's four goats there. Four goats there. Let's see if there's anything else in here that could provide us with context clues. Huggums. <laughs> Huggums dry bum. What does that say? Oh, dry bum bums. <laughs> I could hardly read it. So, what was the tag? 1047? 1047. The tag on the goat. Let's try 1047. Didn't I try? I already, did, I already did try 1047. Okay. 
So 1047, 1047, and we already tried 1047 here. But I'm going to try it again. Just because. Did, did this door open? Nope. And we already checked this one. So, wait, we set the clock to 1047. Maybe now the goat can speak. Let's try that. Come on, goat. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Hey there, Mr. Goat. Ba, 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 ba. Let's try 12, 12. 1, 2, 1, 2. Let's try it. We got nothing to lose. 1, 2, 1, 2. Huh, that unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. Thank you, Mr. Goat. And this looks like the perfect place to leave off, because we're already at about 30 minutes in the episode, which is perfect, and we've got a wonderful cliffhanger here, because I really want to know what happens next, and I'm sure all of you are clamoring to know what happens next, because we finally figured out that Mrs. Packerton is some sort of occult member. She's got the puzzle, got the one piece of puzzle box, she has weird herbs and skulls around, and she keeps a goat head in her freezer, man, with a bunch of pentagrams around everywhere. That is some occult-ass shit, if I ever did see it. But until next time, I will see you all on the next episode of Sally Face here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody. And remember, black magic is trash magic.